the inter-party resistance against the new voters register has accused the Electoral Commission of inflating the cost of the biometric voter registration kits meant for the purported new voter register compilation. Now, the group maintains that the existing equipment are old but functional. The inter-party resistance against new voters register has held a series of protests to challenge the Electoral Commission's stance to compile a new voters register ahead of the December polls. The group, which is now an amalgamation of nine political parties, have debunked all reasons given by the EC to compile what they described as needless voters register citing limited time and high cost for the exercise. They indicated all reasons churned out by the Electoral Commission do not warrant new voters register compilation rather requires technical support. Director of IT with the National Democratic Congress, Osir Kwame Griffiths, addressed the news conference which sought to expose what they termed lies by the electoral management body. Osir Kwame Griffiths said the Electoral Commission's claim that the existing biometric voter registration kits are obsolete and could not serve the December elections is false. A calculation he made suggests that the biometric devices, although have existed for four years, have only been used for 81 days, while the verification kits have also served only 50 hours. He accused the Electoral Commission of inflating costs for the procurement of new biometric devices for the intended registration exercise. $1,770 was used by Nigerians for a BVR. So if you are saying you are buying yours at $3,500, it is very clear yours is inflated. And then again, Zimbabwe bought the S for $1,300. In fact, of all the recent procurements that have been done in BVRs, Ghana's own is just too high. Now, what we are advising the EC to do, since the original equipment manufacturers are willing to work for us and therefore participated in the new bidding, they should rather trade in the old equipment. He also touched on the possible failures of the EC. If you know that your application server can only handle 200 concurrent connections to uh, your various workstations. How come in the district level elections, you try to connect a thousand machines? Then you went back and said that because it couldn't handle a thousand machines, a thousand workstations connecting simultaneously, you have to throw away the register. General Secretary of the NDC, Johnson Esedun Ketia, said the responsibility lies with all to rise against the EC, adding that the EC's posture on the subject is dangerous to the peace of the country. How can you be opening the nominations on the 5th of October when your register is still not completed? So we have a confused bunch of people calling themselves commissioners. And they are trying to lead us, lead the whole nation into a confusion. Why should we sit there where somebody is laying the foundation blocks for disputed elections? And we are watching as if we are not concerned. The group will then embark on another peace walk to the Electoral Commission on Tuesday, February 4, to register their displeasure about the exercise.